So, what does it mean to be a Muslim student at university? It means being more likely to drop out of your studies than your non-Muslim counterparts. It means working twice as hard to acquire a 2-1 or a 1st in your studies as you are forced to work under harsher conditions than your non-Muslim counterparts. It means being anxious sitting in a lecture theatre as a visible Muslim to not engage in critical and sensitive discussions out of fear of being called a radical or an extremist and furthermore being subjected to false reporting under the prevent duty. It means putting yourself forward for positions of leadership in student union elections and knowing that you are more likely to be scrutinised or even disqualified in comparison to your non-Muslim counterparts. And it means as a member of your Islamic society having to face extra scrutiny in comparison to other societies when bringing external speakers onto campus, as well as having to fight to ensure that a prayer room isn't taken away or access to it isn't limited. And finally, it means that when you begin to apply for jobs, your name will hold you back. And if you're a woman, your gender, ethnicity and religion will hold you even further back. And this is exactly what the workable definition of Islamophobia has to capture. To not do so would be an injustice to the thousands of Muslim students on campuses who face these experiences daily. An injustice to those who, upon sharing their experiences, are labelled as playing victim. And finally, an injustice to a community that is continuously marginalised and discriminated against. Thank you.